Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. Recently, I had the great honor of interviewing Durin Gleaves, who is the product manager for Adobe Audition. In this video, I'll show you a quick podcast editing workflow. And also at the end, I'll give you details on where you can listen to that interview with myself and Durin Gleaves. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Audition, my favorite bit of software for editing podcasts. And the first thing I'm going to do is drag in two files from my secondary screen that you can't see. Uh, I've got MRC Podcast uh, Durin Local and MRC Podcast Mike Local. So when we did the podcast, we both recorded each side of the conversation. So there you can see this is a Durin's local file and you can see he's just recorded his voice on this track. It's a mono track uh, just with Durin and when I was speaking you'll see the silence there. In fact, if I play it back you'll hear just a bit of Durin's voice. I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. And you can hear, obviously, me in the background properly coming in through his headphones. Over on this one, uh, that's my track, and I went ahead and recorded uh, Durin from Skype as we were chatting on Skype, so that you can see on the right-hand channel. And over on the left-hand channel, that's me talking and asking questions and pausing in between. So what I'm going to do is mix those two together inside the multi-track to make it sound like we're in the same room. And this, in podcasting terms, is known as a double-ender. So let's see how we do that. Let's go into multi-track now, and I'll call this MRC Podcast, and saving on the desktop is just fine. Sample rate, I think I'll make that 44100, which is kind of standard for podcast audio. And you can see the beautiful multicolored uh, multi-track, which is fantastic. So if I drag in my recording there, and then Durian's recording, I'll put in on the second track here. And then I need to kind of find out where these tracks match up and match them together. So let's zoom out. Sometimes this is a bit of a challenge to find out where you are. Ah, there we go. Now I can see where the audio is starting to match up. So let's get that perfect first of all. Thanks, right? Yeah. yeah. So now you can hear that I'm trying to match those two tracks together. And you can do this simply visually by looking at each track and getting it together. And it's good to have both sides of the conversation when you're recording locally so that you can do this. So let's zoom in and now get those right on sync. And as you'll see, I'm nearly there. That's probably about there. Let's play it back now. I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. And as you can hear, possibly, if you're listening in headphones, there's a bit of slight phasing now on Durin's voice. That's because both tracks, the top and the bottom, are in sync pretty much. Um, now what you will find obviously is if you have both of those tracks playing it's going to sound horrible so I now need to get rid of Durin's uh, talking on my track. How am I going to do that? Well first of all I'm going to pan it all the way over to the left by using the balance panning over to the left. Now the only problem here is my voice in the podcast is coming out only from the left speaker. Durin Gleaves it's an honor to have you on the podcast. So not very helpful so now what I need to do is take this and put it onto a bus. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You can just add a bus, a mono bus there, which is kind of like another track here, bus A. And that means that all of my audio will now become mono and go onto that bus. Well integrated with video. And I'll as you can see now, it's taking both tracks. And what I'll do is I'll also take Durin's track and I will put that onto bus A as well. Now, when I've got everything on bus A, I can do whatever I want with this bus. So if I wanted, I could add special effects here using the effects rack. And you know what? In fact, I will do that so that I can process the audio. Um, also, if I wanted to, I could go onto track one, which will be only me speaking, or track two, which will be only Durin speaking. And I can go on and add a little bit of EQ. So I might do that in just a moment. But first of all, let's trim this up so that it sounds perfect. And I'm going to actually delete the top end of my chat there with Durin so that it's just got Durin coming in here. Have a listen. Durin Gleaves, it's an honor to have you on the podcast. I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. Now, as you can hear, there's a little bit of latency on Skype. So what I might do is actually drag that in a little bit to account for that. On the podcast. I'm thrilled to be on the podcast. I'm thrilled to be on the podcast. I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. And now I've about accounted for that latency. What I then do is go through and cut out the parts from uh, the uh, Durin's local side of the conversation so that it didn't have my Skype chatter coming back and sounding all echoey in the background. So I could actually go through and edit that all out and then just do some nice curvy fades in and out on that. Um, I don't need to do that on this side as I've got just simply me speaking in the studio and nothing else. So once I've got this all placed in the multi-track as I want and edited up, I might then go through and uh, first of all match the volume of our voices. So let's have a listen. To have you on the podcast. 
I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. As you can hear, I'm a little bit quieter. So what I will do is I will turn my volume up a little bit. I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. Honored to have you on the podcast. I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. And as you can see, both of our voices are now peaking at around minus six on the levels down there at the bottom. Um, Now I'll probably go in and add in a little bit of EQ, first of all, on my track. And let's get that filter and EQ, some parametric equalizer and find out nice bit of EQ for my voice. So I hope the quality of this podcast is good. During Gleaves, it's an honor to have you on. So I hope the quality of this podcast is good. During Gleaves, it's an honor to have you on the podcast. I'm thrilled to be here, Mike. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do the same on Duran's track here. And we'll go into filter and EQ and use the parametric equalizer. And it's just great to get. And it's just great to get. And it's just great to get, get a chance to talk to you. And really had so much success and really just dominated the NLE industry the last several years. And really had so much success and really just dominated the NLE industry the last several years. So what I'm doing there is I'm simply enhancing or possibly if I needed to taking out frequencies from each side of the conversation so that we have a decent sounding podcast. It just helps to brighten up the audio a little bit and uh, make it palatable to the end listener. Uh, And then I might go to bus A and I might choose to put on a little bit of perhaps uh, some compression, maybe some dynamics processing here. Of course, Adobe Audition. Now, if you haven't heard of Adobe Audition, and you'll be able to hear the difference if I put the effect on or take it off, audio quality. So I hope the quality of this podcast is good. During Gleaves, it's an... And if I take that up really high, audio quality, you can see that's a little bit too much there. Audio, it's making me awfully loud. Audio quality. So I hope the quality. So maybe just a little bit there of compression uh, to make it sound great and to level out the volume on both tracks. So now I've got that in, I can finally go in and maybe grab uh, a jingle over here. This would be maybe my intro track, which I drop in on track three. And we can use this audio uh, maybe as a podcast intro, as a little bit of music to introduce the podcast. Hello, this is Mike Russell. And we'll just take away my breath from the start there. Hello, this is Mike Russell. And perhaps I would act. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Now you can hear the the audio on that track is quite loud. So I'm going to actually use the wonderful uh, volume control, which is on the track, to turn the volume down. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and you're listening to the Music Radio Creative Podcast. On this episode, I am thrilled to be talking to the product manager of a piece of software I absolutely love and have loved for probably over a decade. I remember when it revolutionized my life working in radio. No longer was I... And as you can hear now, that intro music sounds pretty decent uh, for the intro of the podcast. Again, at the end, when it all finishes here. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to cut off that bit there. And that's the final word. Fade that out at the end. And then I'm going to pull in an a cappella to close the podcast down and pop that in here. So much. Music Radio Creative. And there you have the finished product, the Mixed Down podcast. Obviously, I could go through and edit more of the audio out from Durin's local recording and just generally tighten things up and edit my podcast to make it have a decent flow and maybe cut out a few stutters and stuff. But generally, I don't tend to worry too much about that. I like to keep a podcast sounding natural. So once I've got everything sorted, I'll go into multi-track, mix down entire session here, and that is going to create a waveform track for me. Okay, as you can see, I've got a bit of preceding silence, which I can simply zoom in here and chop that off. Actually, what I find good here is to go into the view window here, show spectral frequency display, because you can actually see here in great detail where your audio really starts, whereas it's not always visible from the waveform. So I can see that my audio starts around about there. I'm gonna leave a little bit of buffer and then I'm going to scroll all the way back and delete all of that. And then at the end, I think we're we're pretty much, yeah, that's great ending there. Nice and tight at the end with not too much silence. So that's the full podcast. Take that spectral frequency display away. What I would then do is open a new window, which is the match volume window. This helps me to get the podcast to a uniform loudness level, which is important in podcasting. Uh, we're aiming here for minus 16 luffs. And if I click this button here and drag my mix down in, you'll actually find out what the current loudness is. 
and then we'll find out whether we need to maybe reduce or increase the loudness on this track before saving it as an mp3 file and uploading it to the media host. There we go. So you can see the uh, loudness currently is at minus 19 LUFs, so we need to change that by going to the match volume settings. Change this to read minus 16, like so. Hit run. And there you go. Now you can see the podcast conforms to exactly minus 16 LUFs on the loudness scale. Next, I might choose to go into the metadata window, which will appear nicely over on the right hand side. And I can give it the ID three tags that it needs. So just for this demonstration purpose, I'll call it MRC podcast. You can give it an artist. So you can say Mike Russell here. You can add in your comments if you want. Interview with Duran Gleaves. And of course, you can give it a genre, a track number, anything that you need really uh, to include in your podcast. And then finally, I would go to File, Save As. You can save directly as an MP3 file in Adobe Audition. MP3, 128 kilobits per second. Uh, constant bit rate uh, is usually the format I'll go for. And of course, it's going to be a stereo podcast because of those jingles included. Give it a name here. So maybe MRC Podcast and click OK to then save that and click OK to this as well. Click yes, as it's just telling you it's going to be a lossy format because you're not saving as WAV. And then once it is saved, you can put it straight on your media host and your podcast is ready to go. So there you go. There's a quick podcast editing workflow that can show you exactly how to make two people sound like they're in the same room, even though I was here on the Isle of Wight and Durin was all the way over in Seattle. It's amazing what you can do with Adobe Audition and a little bit of technology. Now, if you'd like to check out that podcast, simply click the link that accompanies this video and you can listen to the full 30-minute episode.